What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite and welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. In today's video, I wanna talk about those best skill highlight videos that you see on YouTube and why those can actually have a negative impact on your game. So as always, take the title with a grain of salt. I definitely don't think that highlight videos are 100% bad. As a kid, I used to spend endless, endless hours on YouTube watching the best skills, plays, goals from some of my favorite players like Kaká, Ronaldinho, Zidane, Beckham, and other top players at the time. And to be 100% honest, I think those highlight videos are a huge reason as to why I'm a professional soccer player today. Watching what Ronaldinho could do with the ball or how Beckham could strike a free kick motivated me so much that I would go outside in my front yard, my garage, or wherever, and I would practice and practice and practice to try to emulate those guys and to one day become a professional footballer. However, I think you definitely can get caught up in the highlights. And I really do think watching too much of those videos can alter younger players' perception of how the game should be played and how it is played. I just wanna give a couple big reasons why you should stop watching so many highlight videos, or at the very least, give you a couple things to think about in the back of your head the next time you watch Neymar's best skills compilation on YouTube. So let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. Number one, and this should be the most obvious statement ever, but highlight videos don't show any mistakes. I mean, it, it sounds stupid. I mean, of course they're not gonna put in mistakes or bad plays into a highlight video. A simple misplaced pass or a bad touch isn't very exciting or motivating to watch. If I were to watch clips of Ronaldinho miscontrolling a ball, I don't think that would get me as motivated as seeing something like this. After seeing that, I wanna go out and work on my touch so I can be just like that, so I can kill the ball at my foot. But I really think it's crucial in a young player's development to understand that the best players in the world are still making very simple mistakes. Because if you're seeing that the best players in the world are messing up at times, that they're still trying to slot a pass through but it doesn't work out, or they're trying to defend but they still get beat, it allows you to understand that if these best players in the world can make a mistake and can mess up, then so can I. Even last week, I was with one of my teammates, Mason Steidahar, who is a goalkeeper on loan with us from Orlando City in the MLS. And we were watching the Man City Tottenham game as well as the Liverpool Southampton game. In both games, the keepers made some very bad mistakes. And seeing those clips, it really got us talking about some of the mistakes that I've made, some of the mistakes that Mason's made this season, and how hard we are on ourselves, even to this day, about making those very simple mistakes. Which on one hand, I think is really good because it shows how badly we really wanna win and how we're striving for perfection every single play. Play. But on the other hand, there are far, far better players than us making much, much, much more money than us that are making the same mistakes, if not worse mistakes than us. But if you're a younger player and you're only watching these highlight videos, you're only seeing perfection. You're only seeing the best plays. You're not seeing any mistakes at all. So I think it's crucial to see the best players mess up, to see the best players go for stuff that don't always work out and how quickly they get over their mistakes and move on to the next play. Highlight videos don't show that. And that's something that younger players need to see. Number two. Highlight videos are made up of the best plays over an entire game, over an entire 40 game season, or even over an entire 20 year career. If you're watching the absolute best plays out of somebody's 20 year long career, then you might get the perception that every single time they touch the ball, they're trying to take on four people. They're going for that highlight-esque type play. That every single time he gets a touch in a real 90 minute game, he's trying to do something creative and trying to humiliate the defender in front of him, which really is not true. In reality, 99% of the game is simple. It's one, two touch passes. It's doing the smart play for that situation. It's doing the boring things right. And then when the opportunity presents itself, then you can take somebody on, but only in the right spots on the field, the attacking third of the field when you're 1v1 or you have space. That's when you go for it, that's when you try something. This contrast of extreme skills and simplicity can really, really be seen if you really sit down and you analyze the difference between a highlight video and a real game. Here is a random best skills 2018 video I found on YouTube. Oh, I know they want a piece of me. If I put it on a record, it's a guarantee from me. What you need from me, I've been on me from the jump. Got a girl with a back, you can see it from the front. All over the map, she ain't seen me in some months. Hey, when I hit the road, love when I do the home runs. If you're never offline, man, you own one. I let my boys talk, hardly ever do my own stuff. Now compare what you just saw to a random 60 seconds of a real game. So here's Barcelona versus Chelsea in a preseason match about a month ago. I want you to notice how most of the passes are to the nearest player, or maybe to the second nearest player, unless it gets too tight and compact, and then maybe they'll hit a longer pass to relieve pressure. When they get into areas like this, they attack. But even then, it's simple. It's a body faint and a quick cut. Watch Dembele right here. 
body faint, quick cut, and then a pass. Um, it's it's simple build up play, but it's sharp, accurate, and purposeful. Look at the number of touches that most players take. One or two, watch this play right here. One, bop, bop, two, relieve pressure. Let's keep it, let's reorganize. It's, it's, it's so skillful, but it's so clever to get out of the tight space. And it's simple, simple, simple. Chances are created most of the time by the not individual displays. Even here, his 1v1 again, Dembele. Again, it's just a couple simple body feints, but the, the chances are created by great off ball movement and in great passing and build-up play right there they almost had a, a penalty now let's take a look at chelsea here could be an amazing run but no they've been defending for the last 60 seconds straight they want to keep the ball keep possession and try to build up to a better chance great switching ball bring it down and now they have possession and now they can attack again it's a little tight right here you don't want to force it let's cut it back play back to the center back and see if we can find a better way to break down barcelona simple pass one touch back the way you're facing one touch out wide and now we're off let's take the space let's push up but Barcelona is still set he's got three defenders in front of him cut it back let's swing it let's see what we have now he's looking to play forward he doesn't see the run that he wants and he's mad but let's play the ball simple backwards and swing it over to the other side one touch turn and now we're gonna have a great entry ball right here great turn we'll be we're behind their line so let's attack but it's simple 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 it's even more noticeable when you really focus in on one player for example let's look at one of my all-time favorite right backs to try to emulate and analyze his game Kyle Walker here is Kyle Walker's highlight video. Now let's take a look at Kyle Walker in a real game. Here's every single one of Kyle Walker's touches in the first half of one of his games. So here's his first touch. It's just gonna be headed straight back to the center back. Next touch on the ball, he gets it out wide, whips in a great cross, and it almost a chance is created. And, and you know, I understand that Kyle Walker's not the most skilled player in the EPL, but he's one of the most dynamic outside backs, full backs, I think of the game. I mean, right here, this is the 1% chance. He sees an opening, he attacks full speed, gets cracked, but that's a great opportunity. Another ball comes into him, touch in. He has a lot of pressure from behind. He's gonna just play it right back to a center back. Here's a great switching ball, ball into him. Great touchdown, but just one touch and he moves. It's off ball movement. Ball's gonna come into him, just to header out. Ball back to him. He has some pressure, it's tight over there, so he's gonna play back to, the, to his goalkeeper and keep possession of the ball. He, he wants to whip in the cross, but he decides to keep the ball, plays it into a center mid. Ball comes out to him, again, just one, two touches right into a center mid. Again, ball comes out to him, he's looking, but plays it oh, a simple pass back to a center mid. Now he gets a run through, he, want, he sees a run, he tries it, but it doesn't work, but one, two touches right there. Ball comes into him, he gets some pressure, he's gonna clip it down the line, a decent chance, but simple. Ball comes back to him, he's gonna head it straight into his center mid. Now he has lots of time and space, lots of time and space, but he, he just doesn't see something, plays it back to his center back. Ball comes back to him, tons of time and space, tons of time and space, takes his a touch, looks up, picks up his head, plays it right back to his goalkeeper. Next play, ball is gonna come out to him, header straight down. Now here's a great defensive challenge, but it's not a, a, a skilled skill move highlight. Tries to play in behind, here's another time, ball comes into him, opens up his hips, clips it down the channel, and it's a, a decent chance. Ball comes out to him again, lots of time, he's looking up, plays right into his center mid, wants it back but doesn't get it. Out to him, turns, and starts to attack, and is fouled. Gets a chance created, but it's not a highlight. Another ball comes out to him, he's looking up, sees De Bruyne, tries to play him in behind, just doesn't work out though. Balls it back to him, he doesn't know if it's out on his team or not, so he clips it forward. And then ball back to him again, time, time. He's gonna clip it forward again. Uh, and it reaches his guy who gets out of bounds. Ball back to him again, plays it back to his center back. Ball's gonna come up to him, he's just gonna head it. Back to him again, tries to take it down, out of bounds, and tries just to clip it forward. I hope that it is so obvious the difference between highlight video and a real game. In reality, if you try to go for a nutmeg or a sombrero or 13 step overs every single time you touch the ball, 
then the defender is gonna crunch you. You're gonna lose the ball and then your teammates are gonna have to work to cover for you and they're not gonna be happy about it. Highlight videos only show the minority of times in the game where it's the right time to do one of those skill moves. And then they only show the ones that actually work. They don't show the other 90% of the game where it's simple one, two touch passing, moving for your teammates, creating good options, good build up play, good positioning, the boring stuff. That's the stuff that really makes good players and good teams. And I've seen it all the time. Younger players come in, they join in on our training sessions and they think that they should do way, way too much with the ball. They take extra touches, they take players on in the wrong area and eight times out of 10, they lose the ball. And then they get screamed at by the older guys to play faster, to play quicker, to take less touches. And they quickly learn when and where the right place is on the field and when the right time is in the game to take somebody on and to try that skill move. And I really think that highlight videos are a big reason for this problem. So like I said, I think highlight videos serve an amazing purpose for inspiration and motivation. But if you're only watching highlight videos on YouTube, then you can definitely get the wrong perception of how the game is played and it can have a negative impact on your career. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. All right guys, peace. Oh, 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 oh.